Hi guys, it's Mika. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to come on here for another review for you guys. It is a drugstore product that I just recently picked up and I feel like you will be interested to know how I feel about this. So I decided to do a spin the door heck no. So I hauled this in a Walgreens drugstore haul. It is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte. 24 hour demi matte finish air light oil free foundation so as you guys know I am combination oily skin I get very oily in my t-zone so I'm always on the hunt for a good mattifying foundation I am a foundation whore I love foundations I have a slew of them I see new and I want to buy them I saw this at Walgreens I wanted to buy it so I did so it says lasting demi matte finish never dull never flat um, it says it's 24 hour wear medium coverage and it has an air light texture so is it demi matte yes it's not super pro matte like matte you're not going to be matte it is a semi matte meaning there's a little bit of luminosity there but it doesn't look oily I think it produces that luminous glow in all the right places. I'm actually extremely impressed with this foundation. I have it on today. I have been wearing it for a total of seven hours. Seven hours? Seven hours now. I have not blotted. I have not touched up. I have done nothing. This is how it's looked. I will be sure to update you guys in the description box down below or I'll put an annotation here of how long it lasted but so far I'm impressed for drugstore. So next it says 24 hour wear. I'm not there yet but I will let you guys know how long it lasts. Medium coverage. I would agree it is light to medium coverage which is okay. I am okay with a medium coverage foundation. There's not every single day that I want to look full on full coverage. I think this will be actually very good for everyday wear because it is medium coverage and it is very light on the skin. It feels like I have nothing on my face which is what I love. I don't like to walk around feeling very heavy and cake face which some foundations tend to do. This does not. And you guys know that Revlon um, Color Stay is my holy grail foundation, but I am loving this. I like the packaging. Um, I like that you can easily, first of all, you can easily travel with this. My Revlon Color Stay is a glass bottle. I'm always afraid of it breaking. I can just throw this in my makeup bag. And I like that, that I have control with how much product I'm going to push out onto the back of my hand as far as the other glass bottles to where you pour it and too much comes out and have to deal with that. I like that this has so much more control. I like the consistency of it the texture it's not watery and yet it's not too thick I have it on my hand it's not doing the slide test which is when it's too watery it's gonna slide all the way down your hand it doesn't do that but it's not super thick either the one quo or qualm that I have about this foundation is the shade range this was the darkest shade that I saw on display at Walgreens they could possibly have more I don't know but this was the darkest one that was available. Someone told me that there was one other that was the darkest available at theirs. So I'm hoping maybe there are darker shades. They're just not stocked at every single Walgreens. This is in this shade Soft Sable. I am an NW43 in MAC. And I know there's, you know, 50s and I think there's a 55. So this being the darkest is not going to work for everybody. There's plenty of shades on the lighter spectrum of this foundation which is amazing I think this had like 10 shades available I'm just I'm really irritated by you know companies that don't cater to all skin tones there are some lighter people and there are some darker people and if you want people to buy your products then they need to expand their shade range I'm sick of you know going to the store and seeing something and loving it and it not being my shade and I don't think I am that dark so I think they need to expand the shade range but other than that like this foundation is bomb um, it's a little bit on the pricey side for a drugstore foundation in my opinion it was like 13 bucks I think it was 
12.49 or something along there but I really do love it and it's cheaper than all the other foundations that I have in my collection like as far as like my Kat Von D and other things that are 40 50 bucks I think this is a good option um, for those of you that don't have access to those more higher end foundations so I suggest that you guys, if you guys like that matte finish, if you're oily, I think you should try this. Even if you're dry skinned, I'm dry around my mouth, especially in this cold winter months. And I had no type of, you know, the foundation clinging to any of my dry patches. It didn't accentuate anything. And because it's not super matte, I think this will work for you dry skinned um, ladies out there as well. So I absolutely think you should give this a try. Um, I'm loving it so far. We'll see how the day goes on. I still have some things to do and I have to play with my little puppy. But yeah, I'm going to keep it on and I'll keep you guys updated. But thus far, I think you should spend the dough on this foundation. I love it. I think that a lot of you guys will like it too. And it's drugstore. Like who doesn't like a drugstore foundation? So I don't know. Revlon Color Stay. You might have some competition here. So we'll see. Well, you guys, that is it. That is my thoughts on this new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Um, leave a comment down below letting me know if you've tried this, your thoughts, how you feel, if you found this review helpful at all. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already so that you know when I upload videos. Follow me on my social media. I'm very active with you guys there. And yeah, um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Dark and oh, it's very creamy. Um, it's pretty pigmented. Very creamy.